In this video, we will demonstrate the tools available in the Data Editor Control Panel and the Administration Control Panel for a collection in a Symbiota portal. I am using the CCH2 or California Consortium of Herbaria portal, but these tools will be the same in most portals. To get to a Data Editor Control Panel or Administration Control Panel, you must be logged in and have permissions to edit or be the administrator for a collection. Once you have editing permissions, from the home page of any portal, you go to My Profile, Occurrence Management, and then scroll down and click on the name of the collection for which you would like to edit or do administration tools. In the Data Editor Control Panel, you can do many things, mostly editing, adding, and annotating records. You can add a new occurrence record, either straight from the Occurrence Editor, like so, or you can create a new record using an image, which involves uploading the image directly. You can also add skeletal records, and the skeletal record tool is often used during the image creation process because you can enter a scientific name and a state and province, and they will remain auto-populated for each catalog number that you add here. You can also edit existing occurrence records, and this tool is often how you will search for records. You'll see a record search form here. You can search by custom fields as well as what is in the normal box. You can sort your results. And you can add multiple custom fields to your search form. You can also add batch determinations. So from here, you can search for a specific taxon, select which records you would like to annotate, and apply annotations. You can print specimen labels using a variety of customized tools. So here you can define which records you want to print labels for. You can print annotation labels just as you printed specimen labels. Anything you added a batch annotation to, you can add to the annotation print queue, and then it will show up here, and you can print your annotations from there. Also, as you individually add annotations to specimens, you can check a box that says whether you will add the specimen to the annotation print queue. You can also code traits depending on whether this is activated in your portal. So in this portal, we have phenological traits that we can score. There is also a trait mining from the text fields tool. You can batch georeference specimens from the Data Editor Control Panel using a variety of tools, including the Coordinate Cloning Tool and Geolocate. Lastly, in the Data Editor Control Panel, you can manage loans. In the Administration Control Panel, you can do slightly more advanced actions, such as deleting or doing batch actions. You can look at comments. And from here, you can mark them as reviewed, you can delete them. You can edit the metadata about your collection. So that means your description, collection name, maybe your lat long. You can also change your contacts and resources here. You can manage permissions. So that means giving permission for admins or editors on your collection. You can import or update specimen records in a variety of different formats from skeletal, full text, Darwin Core archives, and you can also save import profiles for any imports you're going to be doing repeatedly or in the same format. In the processing toolbox, you'll find a number of tools, including batch image loading, depending on your image workflow. You'll find crowdsourcing tools, optical character recognition tools, the ability to download records in a report, for example, unprocessed records. You can also get user statistics from here. In the exporter, you can get a custom export of your data in Darwin Core or Symbiota Native, including or not including traits. And then there's also a tab for geolocate Koji if it is activated in your portal. So this is an external batch georeferencing service. If I go back to my control panel, 
There's also the ability to publish Darwin Core archives. So this can allow people to download Darwin Core archives straight from the portal. And here you can see that this is also publishing to GBIP, so the Global Biodiversity Information Facility. This is where you would do that. You can also review or verify occurrence edits. So any edits made to your records in the portal will be tracked in this table here. You can look at them, you can revert them, you can change their status, and you can download them. In the administration control panel, you can also look for duplicates. You can cluster duplicates or just view the duplicate clusters that already exist. These are based on collector name, collector number, and the date. And then there are a number of maintenance tasks. You can access the data cleaning tools. This includes duplicate catalog numbers, geographic cleaning tools, taxonomic cleaning tools. You can also download a backup of your data. This is in a Darwin Core format right here by download backup data file. You can restore a backup data file. You might want to get help with this. You can conduct thumbnail maintenance, so create any thumbnails for images that do not have them. And lastly, you can update your statistics. So the statistics on the page for your collection are not auto-generated, so you'll probably want to update the statistics regularly. And that's how you use the Data Editor Control Panel and the Administration Control Panel.